beautiful day grade 9 student it is an exciting day today because we will discover new things in the world of science so make sure that you are in a comfortable place where you can focus your hearts and minds in learning today's topic will be focusing on volcanic eruption our learning objectives are the following Number one, differentiate between active and inactive volcanoes. Number two, explain what happens when volcano erupt. Are you excited? Yes, we are all excited to learn and have fun. So keep on watching. Before we start our lesson, let us have first a short review about the previous topic by playing simple game Name Me. You will identify the type of volcanic eruptions based on their description. Are you ready? Let's begin! It is a steam-driven eruption as the hot rocks meet water. It is a short-lived characterized by ash columns but may be an onset a longer eruption. If your answer is phreatic or hydrothermal, then you are correct. Next, it is a violent eruption due to the contact between water and magma. As a result, a large column of very fine ash and a high-speed and sideways emission of pyroclastic materials called base urges are observed. What is your answer? If you answer preotomagmatic, then you are correct. Very good, students! And lastly, it is a periodic weak to violent eruption characterized by fountain lava. The correct answer is Istrombolian. Did you get it right? Excellent, students! Did you get all the correct answer? That is great! These are the different types of volcanic eruption from weak to excessively explosive eruptions. Very good, students! Now, let's have another simple activity entitled, Fix My Words. All you need to do is rearrange the jumble letters based on the given meaning. Are you ready? With your pen and paper, let's begin! For our number one, the first word has seven letters. It is a shower of a fine cursed grain volcanic materials and other airborne products of volcanic eruption. The correct answer is ashfall. Very good, students! The second word has seven letters. It is a rapid flowing thick mixture of volcanic material and water, usually generated along river channels by extreme rainfall. What is your answer, students? If your answer is lahar, then you got the correct answer. The third word has 14 letters. It is a fast, turbulent mass of pragmatic volcanic materials mixed with hot gases that flow down the slope at a very high speed of more than 60 kilometers per hour. The correct answer is pyroclastic flow. Did you get it right? Excellent, students! The next word has four letters. It is a red hot with a temperature of more than 1,100 Celsius. It flows rapidly down a volcano slopes. What is your answer, students? The correct answer is lava. Those words have something to do with today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to explain how volcanoes erupt. At this time, I want you to look at the pictures. Are you familiar with these volcanoes? What are the similarities of three known volcanoes? The first photo is the Mount Pinatubo. It is an active stratovolcano in the Zambales Mountains, located on the tri-point boundary of the Philippine provinces of Zambales, Tarlac, and Pampanga, all in central Luzon on the northern island of Luzon. Next photo is the Taal Volcano. Taal Volcano is a large caldera filled by the Taal Lake in the Philippines. Located in the province of Batangas, the volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the country, with 34 recorded historical eruptions, all of which were concentrated on the volcano island, near the middle of the Taal Lake. 
The eruption of the Al Volcano in Batangas, Philippines on January 12, 2020 was preotomagmatic eruption. From its main crater that spewed ashes across Calabarzon, Metro Manila, and some parts of Central Luzon and Ilocos region, resulting in the suspension of school classes, work schedules, and flights in the area. The third photo is the Mount Mayon. Mayon Volcano is an active stratovolcano in the province of Albay in Bicol region, on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. A popular tourist spot is renowned for its perfect cone because of its symmetrical conical shape and is regarded as a sacred in the Philippine mythology. Mayon is a highly active stratovolcano with recorded historical eruptions dating back to 1616. The most recent eruptive episode began in early January 2018 that consisted of phreatic explosions, steamed ash plumes, lava fountaining, and pyroclastic flows. Mount Pinatubo, Taal Volcano, and Mount Mayon are all considered as active volcanoes in the Philippines. Active volcano is a volcano that has had at least one eruption during the past 10,000 years. An active volcano might be erupting or dormant. An erupting volcano is an active volcano that is having an eruption. A dormant volcano is an active volcano that is not erupting but supposed to erupt again. Let's deepen your understanding about volcanic eruption. A volcanic eruption is a process where in molten rock materials are emitted or ejected in the form of flowing masses of lave or fragmental particles called pyroclastic materials with gas from crater, vent, or fissure. What determines the nature of eruption? There are primary factors affecting the volcano's eruption style, namely the magma's temperature, its chemical composition, and the amount of dissolved gases it contains. These factors can affect the magma's viscosity in different ways. Viscosity is the property of material's resistance to flow. It is also described as the liquid's thickness and stickiness. The more viscous, the thicker the material is. The greater is its resistance to flow. For instance, syrup is more viscous than water. The viscosity of the magma decreases with temperature. The higher the temperature of magma is, the lower its viscosity. As the lava flows, it cools and begins to harden. Its ability to flow decreases and eventually stops. Magma with high silica content is more viscous than those with low silica content. The magma that contains less silica is relatively fluid and travels far before solidifying. Basaltic flow is a very fluid-like and can travel a great distance, forming a thin sheet. Lava with high silica content is too viscous to travel far and tends to break up as it flows. Gas dissolved in the magma tends to increase its ability to flow. Therefore, in the near-surface environments, the loss of gases makes magma more viscous, forming a dome or a columnar. Lava with low amount of gas and high silica content is very viscous and does not flow out at all as it rises, forming a columnar plug in the vent. Lava with low amount of gas as it rises has high viscosity that it piles up at a vent resulting in a dome. What happens when a volcano erupts? The magma, a liquid or molten rock inside a volcano, builds up in its chimney and mixes with gas formed from melted rock. This magma is eventually forced out through the vents, resulting in dangerous, bright orange jets of lava being shot hundreds of meters into the air. Afterwards, excess magma flows from the vents at much slower speed. This mixture is light and dries to the top. When it reaches the top, it explodes from the cone of the volcano. The pressure of the gases in the magma causes the volcano to erupt. Hot magma 
gases, and volcanic ash are emitted. The explosiveness of the eruption depends on the consistency of the magma and the amount of pressure built up prior to the eruption. When volcano erupts, magma bursts out. Dust, gas, steam, and hot rock shot into the sky. Streams of magma called lava come to the surface and pour from the top of the volcano and down its sides. Sometimes, the eruption is so loud, it sounds like an explosion from a large bomb. Hot magma cools as it rises to the top. Some of it becomes solid on the way up. The solid pieces are blasted out in the eruption. The fine pieces are known as a volcanic ash, and the larger ones are called volcanic bombs. There are also gaseous fumes like sulfur that smells bad. An eruption can last from a few seconds to a year. Most volcanoes erupt for three to four weeks and then rest. An eruption will stop as soon as there is no more molten rock. When there are not enough gases in the magma or when the chimney is plugged with cold lava. Now that you have a deeper understanding of what happens when volcanoes erupt, it's time to answer the following activity. With your pen and paper, fill in the blanks to finish the sentences describing the process of volcanic eruption. Use the word bank to help you. Number 1. Deep within the core of the earth, it is so hot that some rocks melt and become a thick and sticky substance, cold. Number 2. This substance gets hotter and hotter and blank builds deep in the magma reservoir of the volcano. Eventually, magma will push up towards the surface of the earth through the volcano's blank and escape through blank in the earth. When magma erupts from the volcano, it is called blank. And number five, volcanic ash that erupts from the volcano will fall back down onto the earth like powdery snow. If it's thick enough, it can cover and damage surroundings, plants and animals, and blank, streams and rivers. Now, let's check your answer. For number one, you have magma. Number two, you have pressure. Number three, you have craters and vents. For number four, lava. And number five, contaminate. Did you get all the correct answer? Very good! I hope you learned a lot today. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Again, I am Teacher Karen saying, Never stop dreaming, never stop believing, never give up, never stop trying, and never stop learning. Until next time, grade 9 student, bye-bye!